It's pretty simple. The faster you drive, the longer it takes to stop. But how much longer? When driving, you need to leave a safe gap in case you need to brake suddenly. But how do you work out what's a safe gap? When you're driving and something unexpected happens, you need to consider the time it takes to react to the situation. And then how long it takes to bring the car to a complete stop once your foot is on the brake. The best way to know if there's a safe distance is to look at the vehicle in front as it passes a landmark, like a tree or a stovey pole. Count slowly until your car passes the same landmark. You should be able to count three seconds. This gives you a better chance to react to an emergency. Whereas if you're tailgating and the vehicle in front suddenly stops, you've got nowhere to go except into the back of them. Creeping over the limit, even by only a few kilometres an hour, can make a big difference if you crash. Roughly, if you're travelling at 50 kilometres per hour, it will take you 35 metres to stop. Whereas, at 60 kilometres per hour, it will take you 45 metres to completely stop. Don't forget, if the road is wet, your tyres are worn, or your brakes aren't up to scratch, these stopping distances can significantly increase. Consider this scenario. If a child run out onto the road about 45 metres ahead of you, at 60 kilometres an hour, you should be able to stop. If you increase that speed by only a little bit, say five kilometres an hour, you increase the stopping distance, and in fact you would hit that child still travelling at about 30 kilometres an hour. And if you're distracted, this makes stopping in time much more dangerous. Just half a second in reaction time makes a big difference in stopping time. If you're comparing two cars that are both travelling at 60 kilometres per hour when an emergency happens, one of the drivers is adjusting the stereo and takes an extra half second to brake, they travel an extra eight metres before finally coming to a stop. So next time you get behind the wheel, keep a safe distance and your eyes on the road.